Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to yet another new course in the NPTEL uh, MOOCs. Uh, and I am Dr. Deepak Phule from IIT Kanpur. Today, we are going to discuss a um, new course, which is called as the Advanced Business Decision Support System. You may have taken our uh, preliminary course on Business Decision Support System, actually the web-based Business Decision Support System, which basically introduced you to the major components of the Decision Support System and its functionalities and uh, how would you design each components. Now, we are taking you guys to the advanced uh, business decision support systems, where uh, we are looking at a very specific uh, business decisions, uh, which are mostly imperfect, incomplete, unstructured problems, where we will see how decision support systems can actually help in making better business decisions. So, without wasting much time, um, I will uh, get on to the topic, but before that, I would also like to introduce that there will be uh, sufficient practical examples in this uh, course, which will be demonstrated using Python, R, etc., uh, which uh, another faculty member, Dr. Prabal Pradap Singh, will be doing that. And there will be specific business cases, which will also be demonstrated by Dr. Amandeep Singh Obroy. And so, we three will be jointly conducting this course. Uh, it is a 30 hour large course, uh, but I hope you guys will actually get to see a practitioner side of the business decision support system. So, without any delay, let us get into the topic today. It is called as the advanced business decision support system. Okay. And as I told you again, please check the web based DSS course, because at this point we are assuming that you have gone through this uh, or you have some idea about this. So, the current requirement is either gone through the material of this course or knows DSS. Okay. Otherwise, some of the stuff may be little uh, difficult for you to grasp. And I said I am Deepa Phule from IIT Kanpur. And today's major topic or this week's major topic that we are going to cover will be the an overview of the decision support system. Uh, we will do it more towards the advanced side at this point, uh, so that you have a, it, it is building upon what we covered in the previous course. And the decision supports taxonomy, the nomenclature, the main words, keywords, and in what sense we use them. And we talk about optimal versus suboptimal decisions. Uh, optimality is easy to achieve when it comes to uh, simple uh, textbook like problems or well structured problems, but unstructured ill defined problems uh, getting optimal results are very difficult. So, we need to look into near optimal or suboptimal decision. So, how do we identify which is good that aspect we will talk about and then we talk about the most important part of this which is called alternatives. So, that is uh, get on to the major uh, aspects. Okay. Let us start with the discussion on DSS configurations. Okay. And the fundamental rule about or the aspect about DSS configuration is that there exist, there exists many configurations. Okay. It is not just one configuration, there are many configurations okay, which are based on Okay. How do these configurations exist on? What are the configurations? The two fundamental aspects of this is the management decision decision situation. Okay. So, the first part is the situation in which the management decision is to be made. That is a part one and the part two is specific technologies. technologies, specific technologies used for decision support. So, we have two angles. Okay. The configurations are either driven by the, so the one angle one is the 
configuration, the first angle is situation, the second angle is technology. And you know that situations keep on changing. So, as new situations demand new things, uh, they will evolve. Okay. The DSS will evolve based on this. And the new technology, you know that it is coming up. So, then what happens is, you know, the relevance or obsolescence is one critical aspect where the technology angle of the decision support comes into picture. So, in this class we will be, we will gloss over major slash important configurations, okay. So, we are looking at what are the major or important configurations relevant to business decisions, okay. The relevance is business decisions. Okay. And people say that the second aspect is uh, DSS have three basic components. Okay. We discussed this in the previous class or the previous course and everybody would know component 1 is data, component 2 is model okay. and component 3 is user interface. We discussed this in the previous course. In the data is what we say is that specific values from representing a process. We discussed this in the previous course, representing a process okay. for business. I am talking more from the, this one and we studied what we all as DBMS and how uh, we have given you exposure to MariaDB or MySQL as part of the previous course. So, everybody knows these aspects. Then we discussed about model. Okay. So, model is the in the simplest way to say it is abstraction of a system. Okay. So, we talked about what we call as MBMS model based management system etcetera and how these kind of things are created. We gone through I believe uh, we discussed certain aspects of it like uh, simulations, Monte Carlo, etcetera. Then we talked about user interface, the interaction facility for the decision maker with the computer. Okay. So, this is the main aspect. So, we studied, we had gone through it as user interface uh, UI UX, we studied this and we used HTML and PHP here. We also studied in PHP as a modeling language as part of this in the previous course. Right? So, these major aspects we studied okay? and in this course we may add one more a fourth. Okay? This is I am calling it as a plus optional. Okay. It is an optional aspect of this which we call it as knowledge. We briefly discussed this in the uh, previous course also the knowledge based management system. This is the inherent slash acquired know how about the decision situation. Some people also call this as in a very, very broad terms domain knowledge or something like that. Uh, but these terms are used in all weird fashions especially with management people. So, hence uh, for us uh, this discussion will also talk about how do we represent knowledge and what is the importance of the knowledge in the decision support system. And if you remember uh, it is we studied as KBMS knowledge base management system is what we discussed in the uh, previous course. Okay. So, we will talk more about this in the coming lectures. Okay. So, the business decision configuration. So, let us talk about since we are all looking mostly or majorly at the business decisions. Okay. 
So, in our case business we talk about is that uh, let us talk about business in current scenario is uh, organizations that exist. Uh, I would not use the word to exist to make profit, okay? but I would say exist to uh, maximize shareholder value. Okay? This is the definition that we will be using in this. So, we will use the word business in that regard. Okay? So, if you figuratively, okay, schematically, if you draw how it is, you have one component as data okay, and you have models okay, and uh, the data utilizes the models, so, actually models the other way, models utilize the data okay, and then you have what we call as a user interface. So, that the user interface the decision maker interacts with the models using the user interface, the decision maker also interacts with the data using the user interface. So, it is a two way interaction. So, uh, you query you get the results or uh, in, uh, run the models get the output etcetera. So, where is knowledge in this? Okay. So, as you keep on going or you proceeding here between data and models K N O W L A T G E. The knowledge comes here, where it is a two-way interaction with the models, and it's a two-way interaction with the data. Okay. So this is one way you can think about schematically uh, how the DSS aspect. So we studied number one as the data, number two as the models, and number three as the user interface. And here is our plus optional which is our fourth one. Okay. So, this is how you can think about the entire system interacts, but with this you also need to understand one more thing. Each component, okay, whether it is a data, whether it is a model or something, okay, each component will have several variations. different variations do exist for this kind of uh, uh, each for each component. Okay. And number two is most of the time which is presently okay, in the current scenario most of the time are deployed online. Okay. So, we are talking mostly on the internet connected over network and lot of the systems are custom software developed in commercial mode. Okay. So, just to understand that each component, whether it is data, whether it is models, whether it is user interface or knowledge, they will have multi many variations, multiple variations and uh, uh, because each decision situation demands one. Most of the time they are deployed online, earlier they used to be legacy systems, standalone systems, but now it is mostly online web based systems and a lot of the time these softwares are custom software or this decision support systems are customized software that are deployed in a commercial mode. That means, for a specific purpose for a business uh, who aim, intends to make profit or maximize the share value, that kind of uh, an organization is driving commercial software development that is supposed to aid in making better business decisions. Okay. So, the, the typical types of this, okay. uh, so many, but I am just going to talk about two okay. uh, in this case. One is model oriented database sorry dss okay the dss the decision support system that are primarily driven by the models that are used in it and then there is other one is the data oriented dss 
the prime driver there is the data. Okay. So, this is how uh, we have already covered many basics of this, but this is how we will be getting into the advanced aspects of uh, decision making. So, we will be picking up speed in this. So, the definitions, the business DSS definitions. There are many definitions depending upon the textbook that you use. There are so many different uh, definitions. But for us, we will take the multiple operation definitions that are relevant, relevant for our course. Okay. So, whatever is important for our course or relevant for our course, that is what we will be doing. So, the first operational definition is that a system intended to support to support managerial decision makers managerial decision makers in semi structured semi structured and unstructured decision situations okay so for us the main discussion at this point is managerial decision making in semi structured and unstructured decision making scenarios or situations so this is one definition that we will be using heavily in this course or in this avatar of this advanced course second part is systems that are intended or that are meant to be adjunct adjunct to decision makers okay they are supposed to be adjunct they are supposed to facilitate okay in what sense we do the adjunct here the sense of adjunct is extending their capabilities to make decisions, okay, but not replace their judgment. This is a very critical aspect for us. It is an adjunct, it is an assist to the decision maker. If the main aim is to extend their decision making capabilities okay while without replacing not touching this very critical word but not to replace their judgment or their acumen we are not intending to replace their judgment number 3 okay so we also talk about systems aimed at aimed at decisions that require judgment that require judgment or at decisions that could not be be completely supported by algorithms supported by algorithms algorithms okay so the aim here is or the intention here is to uh, have systems or uh, to have a system that facilitate decisions where some judgment individual judgment is required or decisions where you don't have a algorithm a total algorithm so there is no specific problem solving approach where you give the data and the model put together the decision value numeric value is spread out to you and you blindly follow that so that kind of a scenario does not exist so in those scenarios also the business decisions uh, or su such dss uh, is relevant and the fourth part for us is it would be or the dss would be computer based okay so we need a computer it should be a computer based system okay that can operate interactively okay 
So, it is a computer based system that should be able to operate interactively, interactively with whom is the decision maker. Okay. The decision maker should be able to interact with the computer system okay. and should also possess, possess or it should have graphical output capabilities. What we call as the GUI or graphical user interface, graphical output capabilities is also part of it. So, it is a computer based system that can operate interactively with the decision maker, but it also should have graphical output capabilities. So, if you look into this, the first definition okay, supports the, um, if the aim is in structured and uh, unstructured problem, uh, whereas uh, with the decision maker, whereas it also is intended to become an adjunct, an assist to the uh, decision maker, where it should not be replacing their judgment, but it should extend their capabilities. Okay. And uh, th this also should help in the places where there is no complete algorithm available and it should be a computer based interactive system that should be also have the graphical output capabilities. So, one question a lot of the time students ask me is the DSS versus business intelligence. Okay. And people say what is DSS differ from BI. Okay. So, the main point or the most important aspect of this as far as I am concerned is uh, DSS is typically created to support the solution of a certain business problem. Okay. People say this is a certain business problem okay. and it is a big word. So, people are like what the big, big thing is, is. One way to understand this is or to evaluate a specific opportunity. Okay. That is what will be intended as part of this where we will be evaluating a specific opportunity. So, it is more intent towards a specific business problem. Okay. So, the specificity, okay, the specificity is a key difference, key difference between DSS and BI applications. So, DSS is meant for a very specific business problem okay, or an opportunity, whereas BI is the other way. Okay. So, let us talk about some important aspects of BI. Right. BI systems or the business intelligence systems monitor situations, monitor situations okay, and identify and identify problems and or opportunities okay, through through the use of various analytic methods okay. so there is no specificity as such for bi systems they can monitor multiple situations and can identify problems and opportunities and you mostly use various analytic methods to do this. Okay. Second part is the user generally must identify whether a particular situation, whether a particular situation, whether a particular situation requires attention. So, in the case of BI, the user is the one who must identify whether there is something need to be done or should we ignore it. Okay. The third part is reporting 
and data warehousing. is the major chunk of or major chunk or role okay of bi okay so the reporting or creating reports or warehousing collecting data and aggregating storing them efficiently etc is one of the major aspects of bi right so the in contrast to all of this DSS often has its own database and models. Okay. Unlike collecting data and aggregating and storing, categorizing, reporting, etc., charting, etc., which is function of BI, DSS uh, specifically focuses on a specific or a certain business opportunity specific opportunity or business problem and uh, the specificity is one of the major aspects of uh, DSS. Okay. So, I hope you guys understand now that comparison. So, the major features of business DSS, okay. what are the major features or major aspects that we need to consider. Okay. So, as we mentioned earlier, the DSS is an approach or a methodology okay, for supporting decision making supporting business decision making okay so some aspects okay how does this happen okay so the first aspect of this is it uses an interactive interactive flexible adaptable computer based information system information system okay so it's an interactive system it's flexible okay it can within its specificity it is flexible and it's adaptable it can adapt to the style of the decision maker so it's a cbis computer based information system okay so if somebody says cbis uh, then that's what we are talking about second part is it is usually developed okay who develops it by end user by the decision maker okay for supporting the solution to a specific the solution to a specific non structured okay this includes unstructured and semi structured we will discuss what these are specific non structured management problem okay so it is uh, uh, it's uh, supports it is the end user the decision maker usually develops this one to support the solution to a specific non structured problem okay that's the uh, other aspect. It uses data, model, and knowledge. Okay. Uses data, model, and knowledge along with a friendly, okay, often graphical. user interface okay it is data it is model it is knowledge and it does a friendly okay friendly means it is the wh whom is it friendly to to the end user end user is the decision maker okay then it is also capable of it incorporates the decision makers own insights it is capable of incorporating the insights of the decision maker okay the specific insights of the decision maker supports all phases in all phases in decision making okay 
whether it is collecting data, evaluating opportunity or alternatives, making a decision, etc., or quantifying the decision. This is all part of it, right? Can be used by a single user, either you can have a single user or by many people. So, either can be a single person or can be multiple people. So, these are the major aspects of a business decision support system that would make it uh, specifically important. So, again remember as I showed here is DSS is an approach or a methodology for supporting decision making. I would add a qualifier here, I would say it as business decision making, okay. that is the important aspect in this place. Okay. So, Stay tuned for the next lecture. Thank you.